Hello, I'm Sue Burt, and in this video segment, we're joined by Sam Holly, a Senior Compliance Analyst with Walters Kluwer Financial Services. Sam, I've been hearing about zombie foreclosures in the media recently. What is a zombie foreclosure? Thanks, Sue. A zombie foreclosure is a relatively new term for what is also known as a walkaway or a red flag property. It refers to the situation where a mortgage servicer initiates the foreclosure process, the homeowners move out of the property, but for one reason or another, the mortgage servicer does not complete the foreclosure. In most states, the homeowner has a legal title to the property until it is transferred to the buyer after a successful foreclosure sale. If the foreclosure is abandoned before the foreclosure sale, then the borrower is still legally responsible for the property, but may not know it. This is a recipe for disaster. Reuters has reported a few horror stories of borrowers first discovering that they still own their home many months after moving out when they receive a tax bill or a nuisance abatement invoice from the city. When these homeowners investigate the property, they discover that the appliances and copper were stolen and it is uninhabitable, hence the term zombie foreclosure. RealtyTrack recently estimated that there are over 300,000 zombie properties in the U.S. The majority are concentrated in Florida, Illinois, and New York. Currently, there are no federal requirements that a foreclosure process must be completed. That may change. The CFPB recently announced that it's looking very closely at the issue of abandoned foreclosures. The CFPB has stated that there is a direct borrower harm if the borrower believes a foreclosure has been conducted and does not find out until months or years later that the foreclosure was not completed and that they have large financial responsibilities that they did not know about. The CFPB mortgage servicing examination procedures includes an analysis of the servicer's procedures for informing consumers about changes in the foreclosure process, including a decision to not go forward. It also requires an evaluation of the servicer's process of informing consumers about determinations to charge off loans or to release liens but not related debts prior to full repayment of the loans. Given the CFPB attention to this area, although mortgage servicers are not required to notify borrowers if they choose to discontinue the foreclosure process, it would be prudent to consider sending a courtesy letter. Thanks so much, Sam. We appreciate the update on the ever-expanding problem with foreclosures. Our DOC1 default solutions take many of the tasks inherent to document compliance, like monitoring, assessing, reviewing, interpreting, and amending regulatory changes and procedural requirements off your shoulders. Learn more by clicking on the link located below your video screen.